on the Deltec inverter. Please go to the back of the inverter, you'll find a DC isolator. Switch that on so that the battery can give power to the inverter. Then come to the front, press the button once, then hold the button in until the inverter switches on. You will hear it clicking when it switches on. And when you enter the setup menu of the inverter, press the two buttons together. Then you'll find the two 230 volt output, that is correct. So if you want to set it, you can press the cycling button. And you want to save it and go to the next one, you press the on button or the enter button. You can skip this mode. Your frequency is 50 hertz, That's, make sure that that is correct. Skip range. Your charge voltage should always be set this is the absorption charge so it must always be set to the value of the manufacturer's values that is that you'll always find on the spec sheets of the inverters so of the batteries so if you look at the inverters values you will find that your cycle voltage is 14.6 to 14.8 volt at 25 degrees Celsius and your float voltage will be 13.6 to 13.8 at 25 degrees Celsius. So right now our cycle use voltage will be 14.6 volt per battery. So we need to set this to 14.6 volt. Go to float voltage like the spec sheet indicated, 13.6 volt per battery. Then your alarm voltage, you always want to alarm at 50% state of charge. So 50% state of charge is always 12 volt. Then your disconnect voltage, where you want to switch off, we want to make it 11.5 volt so that you don't over discharge the battery. So that you can get a long life out of your battery. Your current, it's always 20 amp per 100 amp hour or what your spec sheet says you need to set it up at. And my spec sheet over here says my maximum charge current is 30 amps. So you don't always want to charge at the maximum charge current but you can go there. So we recommend 20 amps per 100 amp hour battery. So we are at 20 amps and go to the, so you can set it to 30 amps. So 20 amps, you can skip this, you can skip this, you can skip this, you can skip this and you can skip that and that. You can skip that, you can skip that, and then you want to say save. Yes, you want to save, and that's it. Then your inverter is set up and ready to be used.